If you have a piece of dry ice, it will float seamlessly like a hockey puck on a smooth floor. Welcome to On the Shoulders of Science. I'm Ben. If you question the why about things in this universe and you want to learn about random and interesting scientific facts and concepts, then consider subscribing and clicking the bell to be notified when a new video comes out. Okay, so why does this happen? Well, unlike regular ice, dry ice doesn't simply melt. It completely skips the liquid phase altogether, going straight from solid to gas, a process called sublimation. And to clear up any confusion, dry ice is not some kind of treated frozen water. It's actually solid carbon dioxide, the same gas released when you burn coal and oil, but cooled down so much that it's a solid chunk. Anyways, because carbon dioxide doesn't go through the liquid phase, it isn't slowed down by a melting streak of liquid like with regular ice. And because the surrounding room is really hot compared to the dry ice at a chilly negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit, it is profusely sublimating, turning into its gaseous form. So it creates a bit of cushion of air, making it easier for it to glide across the surface, similar to the Leidenfrost effect, which you can go watch my video on, but perhaps not so much that it's hovering, but at least providing a slight upward force that's able to resist the friction you might normally experience. And as the dry ice hits a crack on an inconsistency in the floor, that can halt its motion a little. So if you have a smooth floor like this in your house, you can easily play some indoor hockey or kick the puck. You might have to work with a piece for a minute or so in order to get a smooth side, and you must remember that your puck will slowly shrink until it disappears without a trace.